morning everyone, Gadjin here for Henry's Calling the Shot. In this episode, we're going to talk about in-camera transitions. You've seen this in feature films, TV shows, and even vlogs on YouTube. Today we'll be using the Sony A6400 to walk through swishes, pans, tilts, and even covers. So with that out of the way, let's get this thing started. In this technique, we're going to do the hand cover. All you need is one functioning hand, and you just cover your lens entirely, like so. And through the power of editing, we're now outside. Basically what I did here is line up my first shot with the second shot. It's a clean edit that gets you from one point to another point really quickly. This is a quick tilt transition. I have the camera here on a tripod for stability. I'm going to lock in on my subject, quickly tilt up, and then tilt back down. You can also use it as a pan. Beautiful. As with many of our shots you've seen, we want to make sure that the second shot and the first shot line up perfectly, or as close to perfectly as possible. This shot's called the turnaround. Basically what I'm going to do is walk toward the camera, flip it around at a different location, and walk away from the camera. We're going to cut the clips together so it looks like one seamless shot. Now there's a couple of key settings you want to pay attention to. The aperture I've closed down to f11 so that I know I'm going to be in focus as I walk toward and away from the camera. Make sure you're at manual focus and you set it to a place where it's going to capture you throughout the shot. With respect to white balance, you're going to want to make sure that when you go outside, it's set to the appropriate setting as opposed to inside because you're working with two different light scenarios. In this shot, we're gonna fake a dolly white. You can use an object or a person, but what we're gonna do is take our camera, we're gonna slowly move it behind an object or a person until it completely blacks out our vision. From there, we can transition into our second shot. Now you can do this with a gimbal or a stabilizer, but here as you can see, you can do it with just the top of a tripod. Keep the camera as level as possible, moving from left to right or vice versa. For advanced editors, use a stabilization filter in your editing software of choice to smooth out these shots. This technique is the swish pan. I have the A6400 set up on a Joby Gorillapod with a Cameron ball head. I'm going to hold it in front of me vlogger style and quickly swish to the left or to the right depending on my next sequence. The key thing to remember here is that you go in the direction that sets up your next shot. As well, switch to manual focus so your camera doesn't focus on anything else but you. And here we are, back in the studio. As you saw, the transition here matches the motion of our first shot. I started out when 90 degrees toward me, where the first shot was starting at me, and then 90 degrees to the right. Another thing to keep in mind is you want to keep your camera as level as possible. This way it's going to be easier for you to match the shots in your video editor. As you can see, in-camera transitions can be really easy to do. Just be sure to take your time with your camera and think about the shot coming in and the shot going out. So when you're editing, you have the best amount of footage to work with. Today we use the Sony A6400 with a 16 to 70 millimeter lens. It's available at henrys.com and the link is in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any interesting tips or shots, be sure to leave them in the comments. I'm Gadget. this is Henry's Calling the Shot, and we'll see you next time.